everyone today I am setting up my February bullet journal spread and this time I am, am doing a Dutch door um, which is scary because you cut your paper you can do weekly Dutch doors or monthly Dutch doors which is what I'm saying I'm doing but I highly recommend if you're going to do a Dutch door that you work out your setup first like I have done before you cut the pages so you know you're actually getting um, everything in the right place so let's get into it
finish that. So I've just done my basic calendar and I'll add whatever I'm affecting later. My social media, which will um, track what's happening with that. Um, I've got my habit tracker again. As you see, because it's a Dutch door, you can actually see the habit on your mood tracker no matter where you are in the month. So here's my first weekly page. I've got my little calendar. I'll do my budget when it's time. And I also put these little tabs inside. It's easier to know where I am in the month. Um, second week, little calendar, and I just put a saying, all you need is love. Third week, um, and the last week, and I just put this cute little owl. So, and I'll put my photos on the back of my pages. So, I use for my heading, I use my scroller super tip in lavender. My, um, that colour there and all my habits is the pal pink in the scroller super tip and here I just used the pink in the crawler pencil um, and I also use my microns I had 08, 04 and 03 so I hope you like my version of the Dutch door and if you want to learn more, there's so many on YouTube on how to do it. But this is my version of it. But also, like I said before, make sure you plan it, not just start cutting because you don't want to waste your paper. And with your paper, you can just put it, keep it aside. So if you've got all mistakes, you've got something that will match your book. Okay, well, have a nice day and I'll see you later. Bye.